one of the things we often forget when we're looking at history is that geography is so closely intertwined in what happens in everyday events. For example, take a battle. Back in the day, you've got a whole bunch of soldiers carrying relatively heavy equipment, maybe 20 kilos worth of the stuff, as well as their supplies. And if they've got to walk any distance whatsoever over any kind of hilly terrain, like behind me, you can imagine how much that's gonna tire the troops. You can imagine also if a battle was fought, unless you've got flat carpeted kind of football field type terrain, then it's gonna have a bit of an impact on the battle. If there's any kind of slight dip, if it's on a hill, for example, well, the, the force that's on the higher side of the hill are gonna have such a better way of, of fighting due to the momentum that they'll be able to get as they're charging down and the other side has to run uphill in heavy armor and try and get momentum. So terrain has a huge impact when we're looking at history and it's something that we often forget about when we're sitting in a classroom reading a textbook. So as historians, it's really important to try and imagine what it would be like where they actually were fighting or where the event you're looking at is taking place. Of course, this is also the case with military. If you're a country that has huge, vast plains, you're not gonna have particularly heavy infantry because they're gonna have to carry and they're gonna have to take that heavy armor long distances. So if you're in a kind of a, a large, open spaced kind of geog geographical region, well, you're more likely to have light infantry because they, they can move faster. You're also more likely to have cavalry or chariots even. So the geography will actually impact the type of force, military force, that you're going to have. Maybe you've got cavalry, but they're not as prevalent if you're in a, a heavily wooded area because the cavalry can't move in formation as easily. And maybe if it's in particularly hilly and, and kind of more enclosed in, maybe you're going to have a different type of troop. So the geography doesn't just have an impact on who the people are, on the things that they do. It also has an impact on the kind of military that they might have. Also, trade. If you're a country that has a surplus of certain goods, you're more likely to be a trading nation than if your geography is more diversified and you're able to be self-sufficient. But uh, a nation or a tribe that has a lot of one good is gonna be more likely to trade and to have found other cultures and interacted with them. So here's just some of the reasons why geography is crucial to think about when we're looking at, at ancient battles, at ancient events, at modern battles and modern events.